Hey guys, it's Sam with two M's and welcome to this exclusive interview. Happy Thursday afternoon to all of you. I hope you guys are doing okay. But in just a bit, I will be having an incredibly talented artist here with, here with me. And we've seen him grow throughout the years. And his newest album, which came out last month, which is called New Views, has been one of the best indications of his growth as an artist. And for today, yun yung pag-uusapan natin. And also, syempre, kakamustahin na din natin siya. So everyone, please welcome... Kyle Chari. Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, thank, hello, Kyle. <laughs> thank you for joining us on this little bit. Uh, it's a little bit gloomy, a little cold afternoon. Yeah, but, very. It's very yeah. surprising, no? How cold uh -oh. the Philippines can get. That's true. You forget that this is super tropical country most of the year, <laughs> no? So, um, thank you for joining us. Of course. How have you been? How's life? I've been good. Mm -hmm. Been staying at home because we're in quarantine. Kami para sa mm -hmm. next na lock in. Pero mm -hmm. um, I've been having fun at home, mm -hmm. doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least no, because eventually, obviously, we'll be getting back to more things outside. But for now, yep. really enjoying no, the best of this time. So, what have you been up to? Like you said, you're preparing, of course, for another lock in um, shoot. But aside from that, what have you been up to at home? I'm sure music, aside from that, of course. Uh, what yeah, I've worked up to? on a collab. I just um, worked on a collab recently with mm -hmm. someone. I mm -hmm. finally finished the voice memos and everything, and then Binasa mm -hmm. Sanya. It's a big, mm -hmm. um, big producer, big producer. Oh. Mm -hmm. I put my stories on Instagram story, kuna. but mm -hmm. it, it's a little teaser. But sana ma push through. But mm -hmm. anyways, besides that, just been working out and playing mm -hmm. video games. Really, <laughs> yeah, I love that. I mean, that's this is the best time. I mean, also yeah. the weather. Wala kang ibang magawa, you know. Oh, true. Tapos yung dagdag mo pa yung weather ngayon, mas lalo mo ayo lumabas, di ba? You don't want to get up. Also, um, so we feel you. We're right there with you. But I see, I did see nga yung um yung parang preview mo on your story yesterday. So I'm sure people know who that is. But if you guys want to know, you can actually go to Kyle's story. Actually, I'm gonna spoil it for you. He had a photo. With um, you know, the baby, <laughs> the baby grabbing the, the daughter baby. of the one and only yeah. Chris Lopez. The yes, so yeah. in guys, we can expect this is going to be something, um, to look forward to, of course. So we have that to look forward to. But we're so excited that you're here, Kyle. Shem, because we're here to talk about your album that came out last month entitled New Views. Congratulations. By Thank the way, you so much. On Thank you so much. this album, um, I'm sure it was a lot for you, you know, because you were very hands-on sa album na to, no? But before we dive into yung buong proseso ng paggawa ng album na to, I do want to talk about the title because I feel like the title is um, already a lot in itself, yung parang yung idea behind it. So ano ba yung kwento behind that? Why did you choose that as the title for your album? Well, that wasn't the first thing that came to mind. I had a bunch of mm. other ideas. Oh, like what? And like then, what? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. But it was like really cheesy when I look back <laughs> at it. Like, I just remember it being cheesy. Very, very cheesy. <laughs> was, um, I've always been a fan of Drake. I've always been a fan yeah, of Drake. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, oh. Views. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There's an album called Views. And then it's not easy to Views. Mine is new views because um, pagbabago ng ano kay, 
Mm-hmm. Ng pagkatao ko, I'm finally 18. I get to mm-hmm. show the people what I want to show. Mm-hmm. Sa akin bilang isang artist, bilang isang tao. And like mm-hmm. I get to share like more um real life experiences more than I could yeah. before. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I felt like this is just to show everyone my new views on life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that, no. I love that it's similar to Drake, but it's evolved from there. It's like a growth, no, as an 18-year-old also. Especially 18, that's such an exciting age. I might sound yeah, yeah. so tita right now, even though uh, I'm not that much older than you. But 18, I mean, that's really such a great age, no. Like, do you feel any different, like when you turned 18? I can imagine, the right? Baron. Yeah, I'm 18 now. Like, what was that yeah. like for you? <laughs> There's always that mindset where oh you're legal you can yeah yeah lang pero um mm-hmm. one thing that I've always wanted to do kasi is just really mm-hmm. be independent and not have mm-hmm. to rely on anyone to take care of mm-hmm. me that's why ever since I was 17 wala na akong um plus one like I, like when it comes to taping I don't like having plus ones because I also don't like having the feeling of may tal- may nagaalaga talaga sa akin like may pumunta wow. lang doon para lang magalaga sa akin. I don't, I don't like that feeling eh. And mm-hmm. ayoko yung mababoard din yung tao dahil wala din siya magawa doon sa set. So mm-hmm. I, I realized you naman know, hindi ko naman kailangan I can handle myself and mm-hmm. I just love having that um independency that I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that then. Chamber independence, that's really a goal, no, for a lot of people na para maging yeah. independent. And I love nung 17 ka pa lang. In in una mo ne, parang okay. I'm gonna be independent. I'm I'm call it, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call it. But still, of course, enjoying youth, the way you That's oh, what, that's oh, what it's all about. But I love that you're able to share this part of yourself. You parang growing mo into your music and into your um album, of course. Like, because yung album na to is super shift no from yung debut album mo a few years back. So where did the early ideas for yung new views come from? Like why I wanted to make the album? Yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. Um, it's always been in the back of my mind. No mm-hmm. first album, palang. Cause see, the first album, oh. I didn't write it, I didn't produce. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I always knew that I had it in me that I wanted to produce and write mm-hmm. like my own stuff. Like that was mm-hmm. always on my mind. Like I really want to do this stuff myself. Mm-hmm. And nung sa akin yung opportunity ng Cornerstone Music and Star Music, so brown natuwa. I was super happy that they trusted me. And I was able to really produce my own tracks and show pe- the people what I like to make mm-hmm. and like who Kyle is as a singer and an artist. Mm-hmm. Oh, so now obviously with this album, um, you want you really wanted to show who Kyle was as an artist. So if you could describe Kyle as an artist, how would you describe him? Pretend like you're you know, out of body <laughs> experience right now and you're looking at yourself. You're like, okay, how do I let's see. How is hmm. who is Kyle? <laughs> Kyle is uh very confused with the genre that he likes. Oh, mm. because he has I he listens to too many genres when it comes to music, mm-hmm. so he's uh-huh. he doesn't like to stick to one. Yeah. Then you know, the album, lahat ng kanta, they were all very different. Like it mm-hmm. didn't have like one certain sound. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know, I. There's something that just makes me feel so good when I'm able to finish the whole song by myself. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and when like Kuya Teo is someone who really really helped me throughout this whole journey because he's my arranger. Kasi hindi ako magaling sa mga ano. I'm not good at putting tracks together. Like I yeah, know yeah. what I want, but I don't know how to put that together. Yeah. But I give it to Kuya Teo. Kuya Teo mm-hmm. is my hands. I'm I'm just yeah. using my mind. <laughs> So when yes. I was able to produce the tracks with him, um, and I got exactly what I wanted and more through Kuya Teo, mm-hmm. um, yeah, that just it just makes me happy making music mm-hmm. that I really want that really comes from my heart. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think that's the best kind of music to make. Also, because mm-hmm. genuine, talaga siya. Yeah. And feeling it doesn't feel forced, de ba? Parang lumalabas yeah, lang, yeah, yeah. talaga. From you, so that's so cool that you're able to really experience that. But sure, before this, there was a lot of, of course, like preparation for you then about uh, composing and like writing the songs, like all of the songs. So obviously, like with songwriting, the it takes a lot of practice because sure, it's a skill with songwriting. So Kyle, do you remember like the first song you ever wrote? Like it doesn't necessarily have to be on this album or like just remember. Do you remember what it was about? I remember ever since I was um mm-hmm. 
eight years old, ma mm-hmm. six, seven. Oh, kasi when you know how you sing songs in the shower? Yeah, yeah. I used to sing my own songs, just random wow. words, freestyles. Even though it didn't make sense, <laughs> I just knew that I wanted to write. Um, I remember writing songs with my my cousin. She's also very mm-hmm. musically inclined in the states. Mm-hmm. Nung bata mm-hmm. palang kami. Mm-hmm. Um, but one of my first ever songs that I wrote that went onto the album was um, "As Long as You Were Mine." Oh, um, mm-hmm. that one was um, written in 2016 or 17. Mm-mm-mm. I just remember it being like a late night before ASAP. Oh. Na nagsulat na lang ako. Wow. And pumunta ako sa ASAP the next Mm-mm. day. Mm-mm. And I was just like, and then nakalimutan ko, I forgot about it for a long time. Then I checked my archive on the Mm-mm. notes sa phone. Tapos siya yun. Mm-mm. I finished oh, it. Within na lang, you stumbled upon it again. Yeah, yeah. Para, yeah, you got included. Life talaga has a way of playing out. <laughs> Now, it's included in the album. And, you know, like, I really love that you know, you're able to develop your skills more. Especially as ever since, you guys know, about the debut album, you've been wanting to create and write your own, your own music. So, kwanta ko naman, Kyle, kung paano mo nabuo yung buong like, album, like all of the songs, like, were there certain themes that you wanted to go for when you thought of the album or you just kind of like how did you kind of structure everything paano mo paano mo yung buong album i always thought kasi to myself na alam mm-hmm. ko naman itong first uh, album ko na to mm-hmm. this is going to this is going to be my first album na ako yung nagsulat ako yung nang produce mm-hmm. so you know it's very nerve wracking to like you know give the people a part of your heart through it's a weird oh. thing it feels very different mm-hmm. but like um i felt the need to like mm-hmm. really show the versatility in mm-hmm. my genres so mm-hmm. yun nga i put like indie r and mm-hmm. pop a mm-hmm. mix of hip hop i did uh, reggaeton like mm-hmm. i just i wanted to mix everything together because mm-hmm. you have to show your versatility and yeah. you have to see what works for you at the same time because hey, I, i can't choose one genre i i, I love every <laughs> genre yeah uh, <laughs> sobrang gusto ko talaga lahat ng genre ng music mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i just thought you know what let's release a bunch of different kinds of songs and see what they like and we'll mm-hmm. go from there for for my next one uh-uh. you know? yeah we stand a versatile king guys honestly <laughs> Like, you know, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, like genre nowadays, especially the so brang fluid na ng genre ngayon. Like hip hop can be pop. Like hip hop can also be like indie. There's so many different things that just mend together, and I love that you're able to explore that then sa album na to. And of course, you produce the tracks now. So, what made you want to pick up this skill then? I mean, like, how did you parang practice this kind of skill then? Because I can imagine it's also like what you said. Eh, like bearing your heart, di ba? Mahirap talaga yon. Tapos expressing it through music pa, um, in the way that you want, can be a little bit complicated. So, how much naman yung whole experience of producing the songs for the album? Um, I was never the best producer in yeah mm-hmm. when it comes to uh, tracks and mm-hmm. putting tracks together. Mm-hmm. But um, the way I came about it was I met Kuya Teo. Mm-hmm. And I, from the jump, just loved his music. Like yeah. he's so underrated to me. I always tell mm-hmm. him this: na dapat talaga maging ano siya. I wish he would be more social media inclined, so he can really <laughs> like, you know, show himself to the world. Because that's what Kuya Teo should be. He's such a good artist. Um, mm-hmm. But um, I met him, and then I asked him. I was just like, Kuya Teo, paano mo magsend ako ng mga ilang tracks sa yo? Isip tayo na magandang ano. Gawin. Tapos, Mm-mm. I mean, oh, well, sige, gawin natin. Tapos, ginawa natin. Gamit namin yung first song, which was I'm Serious. And mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, okay. 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 So, mm-hmm. kailangan talaga <laughs> maging close kami ni Kuya Teo nito. Kailangan <laughs> talaga siya maging parang kuya dito. Oo, uh-uh, oo, uh-uh. <laughs> I love that. That's super important kasi, di ba? Especially kung k- kailangan mo express yung mga gusto mo but you're not exactly sure how to go about it. Finding someone that can really collaborate with you and really yes. parang really understand you and what oh, you oh. want. Yeah. 
And that's very, I mean, that's not, not even hard to find. But syempre, that's really cool when you're able to find someone who gets you from the jump pa lang, diba, sabi mo nga. So mm-hmm. that's so cool na uh, you were able to really uh, practice also that skill of producing. But aside from, of course, Kuite, you also worked with a lot of other people like Seth Federer, of course, and also Darren, like on some songs. So what was it like working with everyone, like seeing like just all of that creative energy feeling go um, working with everyone? Uh, well, me and Darren's song, uh, fun fact, sa mga hindi pa nakakalam, it was mm-hmm. supposed to be a song that me and Bailey and Darren were doing. Uh, like oh. the three of us, like a Laga. trio song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We already, we mm-hmm. actually recorded everything, but like we had issues with management. So sana naman, mm-hmm. may labas namin yun in the future. Oh, B-side. Go. Yeah. By, B-side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> B-side. <laughs> New views and then old views. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my uh, god. I'm gonna be sad pag hindi yan natuloy. Like really, you have to make it happen, promise. You have to do it. <laughs> go in natin yun. Ah, uh, go in um, yun. But yeah, it was supposed to be between me, Bailey, and mm-hmm. Darren. Hindi lang natuloy. So hopefully in the future, that song with um Seth, so parang biglaan lang, first lucky Whoa. namin sa huwag kang mga We were yeah. just like, so, magsulat tayo ng kanta. Yun yung sabi ko sa kanya. Sabi siya, oh ba? Kasi magkaroomit lang kami. So, ginawa na namin. We did the whole um, song. We, we did the first verse in the chorus. Tapos na stuck kami. So, mm-hmm. I wrote the whole second verse by myself. And then, mm-hmm. we put the bridge together. The la, 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 la. Mm-hmm. Said, yes. Nakaka-road trip naman tong kanta na to eh. Ba't nila lang natin gawin? So, uh-huh. pinasa ko yung kay Blythe because Blythe was also one mm-hmm. of the writers in the song. Yes. Um, then, um, yeah, such a fun song. Yan ang isip ko, yan, yun yung dapat unang may music video mm-hmm. sa ibang mga nasa album. Felt mm-hmm. like that really needed a music video because it's such a chill song. Na it is. My and it's good Uh-oh. for like, even the people that like, um, kahit sa mga konyo, nagugustuhan nila eh. Sa mga <laughs> konyo kong kaibigan. Kahit eh. hindi naman sila masyadong nakikinig sa OPM, which mm-hmm. is not thing a lot of people really need to realize opm is that's evolving true. that's it's where really it's at oh opm Uh-oh. is really evolving and it's not just one sound anymore yeah 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 OPM Brilliant. has so many different sounds hip-hop mm-hmm. r&b indie. like we have a mm-hmm. lot of different genres now which i'm very happy to say that i'm part of opm yeah and- that's true. If you guys want to know the versatility of OPM, you have to listen to Kyle's album. Yeah. Kasi nga, not just napaka- mine, not just mine. Naman. No, but also <laughs> yours. Kasi, di ba, napaka-versatile talaga. Kasi I totally agree. There's some people na akala nila OPM is a certain way. Di ba? Yeah, alam, lang yung- you know, mga konyo, mm-hmm. akala nila mga, ano, uh, mga tipong birit lang. Mm-mm. That's what they think OPM is. But nowadays, yeah. like, you find a lot of new artists nowadays that are just Uh-oh. breaking out. Dami talagang super galing. Like, I mean, even before pa naman talaga, there's been so many amazing artists. And I love na, you know, you're part of that also, Kyle, kasi you're able to express yourself then through your music. And speaking of, uh, we were talking about nga, um, yung collaborations in your, you put out that music video for Diligawa na Kita. Super GV song, I super agree. Very road trip vibe. But what was Thank it you. like creating the music video then? Seemed fun. <laughs> so Very what fun. was that like? Yeah. Very fun. Kamusta <laughs> hindi siya pa yung pakiramdam namin parang hindi trabaho eh sobrang yeah. lang namin na, na sobrang lang namin na enjoy yung mm-hmm. experience kasama yung you me us they were such a mm-hmm. good production team so much fun I was able to shoot so many more videos with them oh. um, na hindi mm-hmm. pa lumabas pero very very soon lalabas yun but mm-hmm. um, yeah that music video even Seth was like ang bilis natin pero ang ganda lang <laughs> kinalabas ng music video like we had so yeah. much fun shooting it just um mm-hmm. We were in Subic. We got there at 5 a.m. Um, oh, wow. We finished at like 12. Oh. Three, four, yeah, very early. We finished that whole yeah. music very, very quick. So it was so much fun. Mm. I say it on 12. Na kayo. Mm, that's, oh. that's really, uh, that's the best. Because usually, it's kind of the shoot. But that's nice that you guys were able to do that. And oh, nga, the music video did seem like such a vibe. So sa lahat na nanood, if hindi nyo pa nakita yung music video of Liligawan Nakita by Kyle, of course, and Seth, you guys can check it out. It's available on YouTube. And we've been talking a lot about yung album nga, how, you know, there are different songs on the album. But of course, ikaw kasi gumawa ng mga kanta. So I'm sure they all have 
have like a very special place in your heart, di ba? Pero for today, Kyle, if you were to pick yung favorite mo or of recent, um, ano ba yung favorite album mo? Ay, album, a favorite song mo off of the album. Not mine, right? Yours. My song. Yeah, off your of the song. album, not in yeah, the album. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, in the album. Oh, in the, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, in the album. Off there the you album. Go. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> A little now then. Um, favorite? I can't say there's a hundred percent favorite, but for today and the top. Way go. Way oh, go. because uh, because I was able to also listen to um recently our my me and Darren's version of Sana Lala mm-hmm. was very soon. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. me and Darren have a version that will hopefully come out soon. Mm-hmm. But that was the original. That was the second original because after Bailey wasn't able to do it, mm-hmm. I tried to get Darren to do it, and then something mm-hmm. happened there. So hopefully mm-hmm. now, may love us na namin. Oh, so guys, yun na yun. we have that to look forward to also. Even though, of course, Fergan now is fire. I mean, literally, but also, yes. but literally, but also the song itself. That was super not pun intended, would have just happened. But anyway, um, so we have that to look forward to also. But as it is now, song. So we're so excited that you're able to put out this album. And of course, with the album title, the right? new views because you have to learn about yourself but also in terms of skills and you've grown a lot in the past few years syempre um ano mo sasabi mo Kyle yung parang biggest learning mo about yourself after creating this album I I learned that I have a lot more patience than I oh. think I ever did um mm. I used to not be very very patient with mm-hmm. anything that happened in my life and my career Mm-hmm. Now that's one thing that's really bad for a new artist and mm-hmm. most artists in general, not just new artists, mm-hmm. but like patience is very patience is a virtue. Kailangan mo yeah. ng patience. So, <laughs> mo. Uh, sobrang kailangan mo sa lahat mm-hmm. ng ginagawa mo sa career mo. Um, be patient with what's gonna happen. Like this whole album, it took a year to yeah. to release and to finally finish. So. Um, yeah that's uh, that's what i learned about myself patience mm-hmm. okay i didn't yeah. think i had this much patience uh-uh. that's good that you're realizing that at a young age because patience is really super important guys um yeah. Kahit, yeah not even just as an artist no even as a person feeling of patience is really a virtue that a lot of us need to practice um all the time so we love that you're able to grow from this whole um experience Kyle. so to everyone uh pag hindi nyo pa napapakinggan ang album ni kyle it's called new views you can check it out on multiple digital streaming platforms but you guys can also check out the music video of lili gawan nakita it's available on youtube as well but i'm sure madami na ding excited kyle kasi yun nga, you have a collab coming up soon um of course going to lock and taping then um and pa pa namin abangan from you in terms of music but also non-music related things um in terms of music the visualizer of uh josa should come out very very soon um, and also i have other visualizers coming soon and again hopefully matutuloy yung sa amin ni chris um mm-hmm. yeah, some moves and also out of music of course please uh, panoorin niyo po pa rin ang wag kang mangamba pagkatapos po yan ng ang provinciano um yes. and yeah i have a lot of things coming your way guys so mm-hmm. on yet Oh, yeah, abang abang lang guys. No, uh, yes. make sure yes, to yes. follow Kyle, of course, on social media platforms, nya, so that you guys can stay updated. And before I let you go, Kyle, do you have a message to everyone? We have so many people in our comments sending like purple hearts. People also saying like, no views is a no skip album, um, and that's that's really. I feel like I want to touch a hundred because that's really big. huge. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really big. That's like yeah. one of the biggest things that an artist can hear. No skip yeah. Album. That's so true, especially now, no, with the short attention span of people. And yes. Skip album. <laughs> everyone has the short attention span. Yeah, so that's super great. So do you have a message to everyone who's tuning in, but also to everyone who's been supporting you? Um, to everyone that's tuning in, Team Kai Sin, Team Kyle Natik, sa lahat ng squad mates natin dyan. Maraming maraming salamat sa support. Uh, please, um, please uh, support us, the four of us, until the end. And... <laughs> 
Sana po, supportahan niyo po ang aking album which is available on all digital platforms. Um, and also my music video, Liligawan Nakita. Hopefully, we can hit 1 million views soon. Mm-hmm. Tingnan natin. No. Pero yun. Yeah, that'll happen. May manifest na natin dito, guys. Yes, um, 1 million na views for Liligawan Nakita. So make sure to stream. Make sure to watch it on YouTube. But of course, make sure to stream um, Kyle's music. It's available on multiple digital streaming platforms. And of course, support all of his other projects as well. So thank you so much, Kyle, for joining us dito sa Mix. Thank it was you. nice chatting with you. And thank you then sa lahat na noot ng exclusive interview na to. Once again, this has been Sound with 2M. Send Kyle Achari. Thanks.